So let's start with The Telegraph. And this is possibly the most disturbing story we've ever covered, I'd say, Josh. Yeah, I would say maybe, yeah. I mean, like, I, there's this thing, isn't it, that, that um, just the images and the videos that have been released over the last week it, it, it sort of become inured a little bit by it, and then they just somehow it keeps on getting up, the, the, the depravity. Uh, let me read the, the headline first. This is, most, this is a tweet, which is they, this is what they're using as a headline. This is the most difficult image we've ever posted. As we're writing this, we're shaking. We went back and forth about posting this, but we need... Each and every one of you to know this happened. And this is, and then uh, later on, there's a, a, a um, I believe, a photo of a, uh, of a baby, um, a decapitated baby. Um, why? Why does this need to be paraded? And that is, I guess, uh, look, I mean, obviously, I'm... I, I'm almost like so upset about th this happening that I can't, I can't grasp that. I can't deal with that part of things. By the way, I, will, I appreciate this is meant to be a comedy news show. There will be comedy later on, bed bugs. But uh, th this, th I, can't, I, can't, I can't fathom that. How does a brain, how do you process this is what I'm trying to say. What I can process and deal with or un uh, 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 is these people out there who have just like at every step have um, denied these the stories come out and then some of the images, basically conspiracy theorists, far left people, Islamists. And so it's not enough for Jewish people, for Israelis to, to, um, to commiserate our dead uh, and grieve for them. We have to somehow... Um, so, you, you know, like prove it, like our, like the eat, like Jews are liars, and we're obviously just trying to, because that's what Jews do, and we con the world and all of this stuff. So that I c can comprehend, and 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 it has filled me with absolute disgust of these uh, and people we know, people we know, sort of playing it down, denying it, what aboutery, and to the point where the Israeli government's had to go. On, there you go. Right. His, I mean, that's. I'm, I'm angry about obvious, but I can't process that anger. This fills me with rage. That's enough to fill me with rage. Yeah, there's this very disturbing conversation online about, you know, is it true? Was it this number of babies? As if, yeah. as if that makes a difference to Hamas. Like, oh, you're saying it was only 30, not 40, you know what I mean? Yeah. Or, or they only raped and killed women. To me, that's immature. We've seen what they do. We've seen what Hamas are. Do we really have to get into these debates? The debate in itself is absurd. And then, as you said, if I had to come out there for and post this, what do you think, Steve? Well, even more annoyingly, the people having that debate won't be moved by the previous discussion or this picture. Some people are so set to their opinion there is no picture you can put in front of them, no sight that is horrific enough to get them to change their mind. So I, I take the point that it's almost pointless engaging in trying to move that dial. It's glued. Those people, those conspiracy theorists are down that rabbit hole. Mm. I don't know. I know what you mean about should this picture have been released? What, what is the purpose of it? I don't know. It's... There's a, a quote in there, the, the old quote about a picture um, is worth a thousand words and it's, uh, Abe Lincoln guy said it's, it's worth a million, right? And I know what it means. I actually bothered to look at the picture and wish I didn't, but because I know I was coming on here, I wanted to know what we were talking about. And it's a picture that will never leave you, because especially I'm getting too soppy because now I'm a dad, but you see a baby like that, it, it will always impact you and it will... It informs you. This is not about proving whether it's true or not. There are, there are no words that could describe how horrible that picture is. And maybe that's why they think they want people to know. They, they want it shared so that we actually get that sense of the emotional relation to what's happened, it, rather than uh, just here are some words that describe it. Anti-Israel sentiment, or arguably anti-Jewish sentiment, is so high that this is what we have to do. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? In order to sort of get people to... to um, to empathise, yeah. like that's what it takes. 